A mask in PTE AV Studio is a black and white shape. The white areas make the image or video the mask is applied to transparent. Inside the transparent part, we can place another image or video. A mask can be any shape, square, round, oblong, it can be hard edged or soft. We have basic masks built into PTE, but we can also import those that we make in Photoshop via add mask image stroke video. We can also add a blank mask and apply the black and white shape a little bit later. We don't see the mask in black and white while we're working in PTE, but we see the effects of it. With your image opened up into the objects and animation screen, either from the mask option here, or by right clicking alongside our sky background, we can choose to add a mask. The mask I want is the add mask template. These are the ones that come with PTE. And all I'm going to do is click OK to accept this basic round soft edged mask. We've got controls to change the shape, the width of the blur and the corner radius if we were to choose a rectangle. But here I'm going to stay with the circle and click OK. Quite a number of files appear in the bottom right. Let me draw your attention first to the mask circle because that controls the shape that we can see currently on our Cloudscape. That's what's controlling that transparent area. Let's adjust it. I'm going to go up to my zoom control here and I'm going to click the little chain link. What I've done is to break apart the width and height. So when I go over to the little X under the zoom and I click and drag to the right, you can see I'm only changing the width. So I can adjust the shape of my mask, both with Zoom X, Zoom Y, and any other tools within the animation panel. But what we've got to do next is to put an image inside that transparent area. And for that, we need the mask content. So if we select that, right click and add an image. And of course, we can also add video. Let me put my balloons in there. I'll double click. There we have our mask. So in our case, the mask content is our balloons and we can tuck that away if we want to within the mask content. It could be a video, as I've said. The mask circle is the transparent area we just adjusted. We can lock that away. But in the mask container, that's just a frame that controls everything within the mask. So if I go to my rotate, I could rotate the entire thing or adjust it in any way using the options in the animation tab. So the mask we create within PTE AV Studio, I suppose we could describe them as more formal squares, circles, ovals. But if we create them in Photoshop, then almost any shape can be created. So bringing you back into the objects and animation screen, here you can see the result of using one of those masks created in Photoshop. And there your imagination is the limit. I haven't added an image, so let's do that. I'll right click the mask content and add an image. And I'm going to select that seascape. So you can see we can create some quite nice effects with very simple masks. But what if we use two masks with the same image? One mask on the left and one mask on the right. Well, let's take a look. Here we have just a background sky and an image appears. When it leaves the screen, you can see how the two masks can give us something completely different. Bringing you back into the object and animation screen, you can see here I've got two masks. And because I've got two masks, one controlling the left side of the image and one the right, 
it's not too difficult to create the effect you saw. If I open up the left mask, there you can see I've got the hard mask left, which will be a solid black on the right and white on the left. And I've got the image balloons, which you've seen within it. With mask right, it's just reversed. Here, I've got the hard mask on the left, so the white is on the right, but I've got the same image within it. So all we need to do here is to animate these two independently of each other. And here, if I select the keyframe, you can see I just chose Rotate Y. For any other control, like the gentle zoom out and a slight rotation, I use the control frame. So masks are well worth the effort.